Hey, what's up you guys? Taylor here from Hot Wheels Seekers bringing you a haul video. Pretty big haul video if I might add. Got quite a bit of stuff. It's been a little bit since we've uh, uploaded any videos, but in that time I've amassed quite a few cars. They're all Hot Wheels. And uh, I've pretty much gotten them all this weekend. Um... As you may or may not know, Dollar General had buy one, get two free on Hot Wheels. So uh, I'm going to show you some of the cars I picked up there. Um, most of these are doubles for me. But, um, you know, for that price, you really cannot pass them up. We have the uh, wonderful Aventador here. Love the Aventador. Such a sexy car. And um, actually, I didn't have it in silver yet, so that was good to pick that up. Uh, I, I do wish they would have more colors released of the Aventador, besides, I believe, the three colors that are released. I believe there's three. There needs to be some more really bright Lamborghini-type colors. We have the uh, Galaxy 500 here, the Mazda RX-7, real clean model, like that one, JDM there. We have the uh, Torino. Another clean model. Now, sadly, I didn't pick up any treasure hunts. I went to about four Dollar Generals. They didn't have anything in any of them. I uh, got this really nice uh, Camaro, the IROC. I have one of these that's an error. I I'll have to find it. It's actually a pretty cool error. <clears throat> now, th these 2013 cars here, I believe I got these at Publix. There's some more Dollar General cars here in this stack somewhere, but um, this one came from Publix. Publix, if you don't know, is the uh, local grocery stores in Florida and around the south. They actually do a really good job of restocking their cars. I actually get lucky quite often at Publix. There's actually quite a few really close to my house. And I was really glad to find this model. This is one I've been looking at, seeing a lot of other people's videos. All over the place and it is just sexy it is awesome it's a heavy model metal base metal body just an amazing car looks really awesome Ford F100 this one I picked up at CVS CVS also had a deal if you were a, a CVS card member or whatever if you bought a Hot Wheel they gave you a dollar coupon uh, I do believe that was only during Black Friday or around that weekend so I, I did get a few cars, got the 458 here. Love my supercars. And of course, anytime I see a Ken Block, you gotta pick that up. And the A-Team van, I'm sure you just saw sitting there. It just fell. I'm not gonna bother picking it up right now. Some more cars that I did pick up at Publix. The uh, Plymouth Roadrunner. I believe it's part of the Heat Fleet. Yes, it is. 2013 Heat Fleet. I'm gonna start setting them over here. This is a, a weird model. The uh, it's sort of like a Formula One, I guess, Indy car maybe. But uh, obviously, it's like miniaturized. Tarmac Attack. Pretty interesting model. And something I like that I've noticed: the 2013 cars they do have these uh, little yellow strips in the corners, specifying between uh, track stars. You know they'll. Uh, notify certain things such as like new models and stuff and something I was looking at a lot of the old Hot Wheels Used to have those as well, so it's kind of cool that they're bringing that back. They sort of went away from that for a while and It's cool. They're bringing that back Here's another really clean model the Monte Carlo Love this one Just looks great in that blue We have the uh, Cuda Rescue Suburban or Tahoe. And the Bel Air Gasser, another really cool car. This one would look real cool if you could put uh, rubber wheels and or rubber tires on it. Put the uh, real riders on it. It would look really cool. Not good with customs, but might have to get a few of these and try that out. 
because it would look awesome. Okay, now on to some of my older cars that I picked up at a car show in Daytona this weekend. They had some really good deals. These that you're about to see right here, I got six for five dollars. Not a bad price for these um, older 1990s cars. We have the Firebird IROC car. This one's cool. There were a lot of NASCARs, obviously being at Daytona, you know. I guess the NASCARs would just commonly be there. It's real cool. Racing Metal Series, the Dragster. Hot Wheels Dragster. This one's pretty cool. This is an older model, I believe 1995. Look at the back here. 94. Close enough. Treasure Hunt Series. Cool. Sadly, there weren't any of those lying around. I'm sure other vendors did have them, but the ones that I did see were highly overpriced. So I just stuck to the older mainline cars. I love this bad mudder here. It's like a Ford F-150 Baja truck. This one's really cool. I have a couple of these that are open, all beat up and stuff. It's real cool to find one that's mint in the package. The Express Lane. This is a funny little model. How cool would it be to just go down to your local store, steal yourself a shopping cart, Throw yourself a small block in there. That'd be pretty cool. Don't know how safe it would be, but it'd definitely be cool. And you can probably tell, these are pretty dusty. They've been sitting around somewhere for a while. Um, actually, the guy that was selling them had them in a big Hot Wheels bed sort of thing. I don't know if it was actually a Hot Wheels bed, but it looked like it could have been a Hot Wheels bed. I don't know if Hot Wheels makes a little kid's bed, but it was a car bed. We'll just say that. It was filled to the brim with Hot Wheels and other die cast. The uh, first edition, Diora 2. This one was pretty cool. I had to pick this one up. I, uh, I've, I've never seen a first edition Diora, or I've never been able to pick one up. I like the, uh, the surfboards on there. The Diora being an iconic Hot Wheels model. Got the Monte Carlo concept car. Had to pick this one up because my mom actually has a Monte Carlo SS. So, uh, you know, just had to pick it up. It's actually a real heavy model as well. Metal base, metal body. Real cool. It's the first edition. 95 Camaro SS. I love the packaging on the older Hot Wheels. It just looks so cool compared to what we have now. I don't know why, but I just like it so much more. Now this one... I'm not so sure about this one. I think it might be an old Corgi model because of the China base and um, you know just it's like you can just tell you know it's pretty detailed it has the uh, the Euro plate there on the back but Hot Wheels at one point did buy out Corgi and I do believe this might be an old Corgi model if you know please let me know I'd love to uh, find out because it's actually, you know, it's sort of bugging me. I want to know what this thing is. It's just an odd Hot Wheels model. Here's another Mercedes. The Mercedes SL. Now, do the doors really open on this? It says they do. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't look like the doors open. At all. Don't know what that's about. I don't think the hood opens or anything. Maybe a missed card error? I mean, I know it's a Mercedes SL, so that's right. But I definitely don't think it has opening doors. Again, tell me what you think about that one. That one's sort of interesting. Heat Fleet series, the original Heat Fleet. Cool, big old dump, er, I almost said dump truck, tow truck. The Ramblin' Wrecker. This one's pretty cool. I like that one. Three. Must have been three dollars. I did not pay for that price. I paid six for five, like I said. 
So obviously quite a good deal. Obviously there were newer cars in the batch, but I had to go for the older ones, you know. They're harder to find, therefore more bang for your buck. It's a real cool stock car model. Again, like I said, lots of NASCARs and stock cars out there. Here's one. Price tag, $5. I don't know if I would have paid $5 for this model alone, but I do like the model, Ferrari 360. Real cool. Again, heavy model. Really like this one. And last for the older models, the uh, Hot Wheels Silver Series School Bus. Pretty cool. Now on to some big lots, hauls, and I guess, I think these were Dollar General cars, some of them. The Lamborghini Estoc in blue. Do not have it in blue yet. Another cool model. Again, I do like the supercars. And the Ferrari FF in silver. I have yet to see it in silver. So, so when I saw it in this color, I had to pick it up because I, I have the red. I've never seen it in silver. So, just had to pick that up. Unfortunately, Big Lots, of course, does have to put stickers on all of their cars for some reason. So, you, you got to peel those off. I'll do that later. And another Ken Block car. Might crack one of these open. Really love Ken Block cars. It's too bad I couldn't find any black ones. The black ones are harder to find. And the go kart. I've actually yet to find this one until now. For some reason, it's been an elusive model. Hard to find for me. The Lincoln Continental Police car. The Plymouth Barracuda in pink. Looks pretty cool. And the Ford Fairlane. Now that is it for the basic cars that I picked up. But also in Daytona, I picked up some interesting models. Got this thing called a Hot Wheels Revealers. Uh, not too familiar with this. The way I see it is that it's like a classic code, or not code car, mystery car. Um, has like a little car color on it. And uh, I believe you can tell what car it is by the number. I'll have to do some research and find out exactly what car this is, represented by number four. You can see it has a Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen uh, ice cream cone coupon, expires 1994. And uh, dissolve car cover in water to reveal it all. You'd think you could just rip the car cover off, but I guess I want you to dip it in water. I don't know. See, you can uh, win a prize, I guess. Exclusive car. There's your uh, coupon. I should try cutting that out. Take it down to Dairy Queen and see if they still honor it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't open this. This is so cool. They had a few of them. And uh, the people that were selling these cars were selling them for, I believe, three for five. But... They were special models, they weren't just basics. As you can tell, Final Run, real cool Porsche 911. I love the Final Run cars, they're really detailed and cool. And uh, being a Final Run, it's the last time this car is ever going to be released as a basic. And I believe, all together. So it's real cool to pick up Final Runs. They had actually quite a few of them there. You can see there's all the Final Runs for, what year is this, 2001? Two uh, thousand, well, two thousand one. But anyways, uh, here's another one, two thousand two, another Porsche. This one has chrome windows. They're actually very detailed. You can see headlights, side marker light, tail lights, license plate, the whole nine yards. Very cool. Move that one aside for now and get at this other final runs. I have a 1999 final run, the Alien. Rubber tires again. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see, there's all the times it was released. There's some of the other final run vehicles for this year. 
And last final run, we have the 99 Mercedes 540K. Pretty blingy model. <laughs> See so again all the times it was released. And last but not least, we have this 30th anniversary Hot Wheels re release of the um, uh, Large Charge. Couldn't think of the name for a second. Uh, obviously, not an original model, it is a reproduction. It has the, uh, the sort of original carding, though. To make it look like it's original, but I believe on the car itself, on the base, it says vintage, Hot Wheels vintage, and there are other factors that let you know it's the 30th anniversary, such as the logo on the side, obviously the packaging, and um, I actually do have the 30 car set, it has all 30 cars from the 30th anniversary, all these cars you see here, Hot Wheels actually released 30 cars, one car from each year for the 30 years, 1998, and um, they released them in these individual packs and also in a 30 car set, which I also have. Uh, I'll do a video on that later on, but I just wanted to pick this up because I, I knew it had to be worth more than the 3 for 5, so just picked it up. Anyways, that's my smorgasbord of cars that I picked up this weekend. Uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.